Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about proportion. But to be specific, we are here to solve for the value of the given variable in each given proportion. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the first proportion, 10 over k is equal to 8 over 4. As you can see, we have here a variable k, wherein the given direction for this problem is that we need to solve for the variable or for the value of each variable in the given proportions. So our task here is to find the value of k for us to complete the given proportion. So what is the way or what is the process on how to do it? So we have here, we call the process cross multiplication. This is our process for this problem. We will use cross multiplication to solve for the missing variable in each proportion. So let's try using cross multiplication in answering item number one. First, you need to multiply these two numbers. You have eight times k. It will give you eight k. And then write equal sign. Then after that, you need to multiply 10 and four. As you can see, we formed letter x. That is what you call cross multiplication. And then multiplying 10 and 4, that will give you 40. So, in this next step, all you need to do is to isolate the variable k. Meaning, we need to eliminate 8. Sir, how? To eliminate 8, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 8. So, dividing 8 by 8, it will give you 1. So, in other words, we can cancel out 8. And then the remaining one is k. As you can see, it is already isolated. Then, on the other side of the equation, we need to divide 40 and 8. And 40 divided by 8, it will give you 5. Therefore, the value of the variable k is none other than 5. Meaning, if we need to complete that given proportion, that will be 10 over 5 is equal to 8 over 4. That's it for item number 1. Now, let's move on with item number 2. We are given 1 over 6 is equal to 3 over n. And then here, the given variable or the missing variable is variable n. So using cross multiplication, we can multiply 1 times n that will give you 1n or simply n. Remember, if the coefficient of the variable is 1, you can make it invisible or you can remove 1 because it is considered there though it is invisible. So 1 times n, it will give you 1n and then we will make 1 to be invisible. Then equal to 6 times 3, that will give you 18. Therefore, the value of the missing variable is 18. Now, if you want to check whether our answer is correct, you can substitute the value of n to the given original proportion. We have 1 over 6 is equal to 3 over 18. Now, sir, is this a proportion? Yes. As you can see, the GCF, or the greatest common factor of 3 and 18, is equal to 3. So when you divide it by 3, it will give you 1 over 6 is equal to 1 over 6. This is, they are equal. Okay? So let's move on with the third example and the fourth example. I hope from the first and second example, you already know how to find the value of the missing variables. So for item number three, 
you can pause the video and you can try if you can do it by yourself. Now let us continue answering item number three. We have four over 10 is equal to n over 25. So simply you can use cross multiplication you can cross multiply 10 times n or n times 10, it will give you 10 n. And then on the other part, we have 4 times 25. This will give you the product of 100. So again, all we need to do is to eliminate the number beside the variable for us to isolate the variable n. So we can divide the whole equation by 10. So we can eliminate 10 and 10, it will give you n is equal to 100 over 10. The simplified form is 10. Therefore, the value of n is 2. Okay, let's move on with item number 4. We have number 4. Let's have x over 8 is equal to 15 over 20. So the missing variable here is the variable x. So by performing cross multiplication, x times 20 it will give you 20x. Then 8 times 15, it will give you 120. So divide both sides by 20. 20. You can divide it, eliminate. 20, there you have it, you have the variable x is equal to 6. That is the value of the missing variable x. Now I hope from the first four examples, you already know how to find the missing variable in a given proportion. So for the last part of this video, I will be asking you to answer an activity to see whether you learn something from this tutorial video. Given this activity, find the value of each missing variable. We have here in number one, two over six is equal to 10 over x. Number two, we have nine over 15 is equal to x over five. So we are asked here to find the value of the variable x for us to complete the given proportions. Now, I want you to comment down below what is your answer or what are the values of x in each item that we have here in our activity? Now, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated in our latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!